Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to another episode of Tech with Ro. Today's episode is the 12th episode, so we're going to look at, today we're going to look at the Joystick Mapper. This is a Apple uh, app, and it's called Joystick Mapper. So I'm going to show you guys how to download it, and how to use it in the basics of Joystick Mapper. Because this, this is really useful, just in case if you're playing, uh, you're trying to play a game on your MacBook Pro, or any desktop, com any Apple desktop computer or laptop. So I'm gonna show you guys. The first thing you're gonna wanna gonna do is to get it. The first, it's it is five dollars, and it is really, it's a really, it's worth the five dollars definitely. So you gotta search, open up App Store, and then search Joy Stick. Spelled it wrong, so it should pop up Joystick Mapper. And here you are. I have it, and I already have it. It's five dollars, and Right here, you can see that it's five dollars. It's the size is 1.4 megabytes, and uh, there you have it. It's rated four plus, and the requirements are OS 10, 10.6 or later. So make sure you have these requirements before you purchase it. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna close the App Store since I already have it. Then I'm gonna go into my Launchpad, which is where I have downloaded it to. And for in my case, I've been using it for Call of Duty Mar for Modern Warfare. Uh, it's really useful. If I plug in my Xbox 360 controller onto it, and it it works amazingly. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works first. Now I created my own here. You can actually create your own and sync your own buttons, and then you have an example. I recommend using the example and then modifying it yourself. So what I'm gonna show you guys to get the example. Okay, when you first, there's gonna be nothing here. The only thing you're gonna have is add a new present. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go once you open up Joystick Mapper. Once you find it, if you can't find it in your launch pad in your launch pad like I, like or if you don't have a launch pad you can go to finder and then you can go to applications and then search joy stick and then it'll pop up right here in your applications and here you have it then what you want to do in order to get the sample ones you're going to go file and then you're going to need load examples when you hit that, you will get all these extra examples for PS3 and Xbox 360. Since I don't need no need all these extra ones, I'm gonna delete the ones I've. I'm just showing this as an example, since I, I'm not gonna use any of these other ones. The only ones I'm gonna, the only one I'm gonna use is example, first-person shooter, and show you guys how it actually works. So here you are. I'm deleting all these just because for visual purposes. Here we are. I got the example, and then you, if you want to edit it, you simply hit Edit This Present, and it will give you that little tool. And then now it shows you all the connection of the buttons. What you want to do is first joystick number zero, Xbox 360 controller, no joystick connected. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you connect your controller th via the USB plug-in. Once you plug that in, um, I there is a way to plug in a wireless controller if you are a wireless controller. I use wired because I got freaking tired of having to replace my batteries and charge the batteries and all that so once you do that no joystick connected just exit and let it refresh now once you have your it's connected through via the USB like I said um, you can correct connect a wireless uh, controller I can make a video on that for you guys if you want but you can also search on YouTube how to connect a wireless controller to joystick mapper and that you should get video of that but if you want me to make a video on that be sure to post a comment below so in my case since I am recording it's not registering that I connected my controller that's because the software I'm using to record it I have a logistics headset connected to it so it's not registering any other USB plugins besides my logistics headset so it says no joystick but it is connected my controller is on over here and so you can actually look at these right now and you can see what button like the axis its identifier is number three and then motion left and then that same axis which is is right and then you got the other axis which is up down it's very self-explanatory but the best way to explain this is when I do it myself here's the one I created myself I customized my controls and did it a little weird but it didn't come out it didn't doesn't work as well as this one does then I modif I actually modified this one because I wanted my start button to be that button that brings up like the create a class and create a class and then my select button to be the back button to exit out of that and stuff like that so I modified that and you can modify that which I'm going to show you guys right now now once you what game when it depends what game you're playing 
depends, yeah, like I said, <laughs> depends what game you're playing, you can customize it to the keys and the controls that the buttons, what they do, action, and what you want them to do on your controller. So, what I'm going to do is, this is normally the name of the game, so let's say Call of Duty, and then we're going to do just a few tags like COD, Call of Duty, and then like anything you want to put in, but I'm just going to put Call of Duty. And then then you add the joystick, and then it will connect automatically once you have your joystick connect. Joystick is your controller, Xbox 360 controller or PS3 controller. So once you have that connected via USB, it should be, it will register right here. Then you go to add new bind. That's a bind, like a binding a new button to your keyboard. So, okay, now the easiest way to do this is first, okay, identify the button on your controller that you want a certain thing to do like let's say let's say this button on here for Call of Duty on Xbox 360 the A button keyboard key which would be I mean on the A button on the Xbox 360 controller is the jump button so on the keyboard key when you're playing Call of Duty the jump button is the space so we would we'd go we would go keyboard key and we'd find space which will be well, I think I passed it there it is space space bar keyboard key and then now what you want to do is you want to hit scan and when you hit scan hit a on your controller and then you'll see it'll scan it it'll recognize it and it'll say button and it'll say zero and it'll say that it's it will it will give you a number identifier for that button it may change it depends like what like value when you press the button it gives so you will change this identifier of the button and this and then it will determine if it was a button or your axis or your hat and normally it will be a button or an axis so here mine is a button and it was A and then it will, that button will be set so now you got A for jump then you, you can go around and hit add new blind and then do that for the, all the rest of the buttons and connect them to the keyboards so here you guys a quick review of joystick mapper I hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment below and any questions concerns below if I didn't answer something, I will answer. I get back to you guys as soon as possible, and that's it. And you just and then you gotta make sure you keep this on when you launch your game to play. I'm not really gonna show you guys an example of me using the controller because I don't copyright reasons. And yeah, just just ask me a question. I will get back to you guys ASAP, and I will do my best to help you guys. I may even respond to your comment with another video. Thank you guys for watching, and for the questions and suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. Thank you guys. Later.